Hey guys, welcome back to Sustainable Living. Today I'm going to take you on a video of harvesting our potatoes out of the garden. What we did to harvest our potatoes out of the garden is that we first got the tractor and changed the implement to put on a furrowing blade to furrow our potatoes out of the garden. By putting one furrow blade on the tractor, we were able to furrow the potatoes out of the rows. We planted three rows of 150 foot potato rows for a grand total of 450 feet of potatoes in the upper garden. By furrowing the potatoes out of the rows, it saved us a lot of time rather than using a spade to dig the potatoes out of the ground. We were able to complete this harvest in two hours with the help of many hands picking the potatoes out of the furrowed ground. If we did not have the large equipment to do these large rows, this would have easily taken us three days to get these potatoes out of the garden. We averaged 24 pounds of potatoes per 50 foot. Although we still had to use a rake and our hands to dig out the potatoes. So we are two days later, we got the potatoes out of the garden, and I'm going to show you what we got for the harvest. After harvesting the potatoes, we then dumped the potatoes out to then separate them so we could pick out the damaged potatoes and separate the larger potatoes from the smaller potatoes. By doing this, we could then eat the smaller potatoes first in order to preserve our crop and make it last much longer through the season. We went ahead and weighed the potatoes out in individual bags and then totaled the weight out. So these are Pontiac Reds that we grew and uh, some of them aren't as red as they would be we left them in the ground a little bit longer than I probably should have, probably about a month longer, but it was pretty dry weather. So I took a good gamble to leave them in the ground. And uh, so far so good. They all look really good. So I think they're gonna hold out for the year. So the grand total for our potato harvest in the upper garden is 218 pounds. We've already sold 32 pounds of them. So those are not included in this photo here but I just wanted to show you what we got. This was a really fun year for growing potatoes. This is a project that I've been wanting to compare and contrast for a couple years now. And I have come up with some results. The results this year have been very pleasing to me and my family. Here are the pros and the cons that we came up with in comparison to traditional furrowed rows and grow bags. The big pro for the garden is that if you have a large space, you can put a lot of potatoes in the ground to produce a larger yield. Even though you may not yield as much as a grow bag will, you can still produce more potatoes. Some of the cons may be is that it may require larger equipment that costs more money. It takes more time to harvest out of the garden. The chance of you leaving potatoes behind in the garden to not be found and harvested is very high. Also, these potatoes require more weeding and more effort throughout the year. But the biggest con is that you get less amount of potatoes per square foot in the garden than you do in a grow bag. 
So the grow bags do not require any heavy equipment. You can grow in any space and you can grow them on the front porch where daily checks, if not multiple daily checks, can help ensure that your plant is growing healthy and is getting its needs met. Some of the cons of having grow bags is that you do need a large pile of compost. So you will need a certain area to have compost to rejuvenate your grow bags every year. The grow bags produced 42 pounds of potatoes per 50 feet. That is a difference of 18 pounds of potatoes per 50 feet compared to the garden. Now, those of you who watched my grow bag video may say, Jacob, you only got 37 pounds of potatoes off your grow bags. That is correct. But those grow bags only had approximately 44 feet of grow space. So I had to accommodate the numbers to match 50 feet. And that is the calculation that matches 50 feet. So in conclusion, for our gardening, we are going to incorporate more grow bags into our garden. I want to thank you guys for joining us on this video. If you found this video to be helpful, will you please like, subscribe, and share it with those on your social media.